It's a good thing Jenna's here. Okay. Oh, I really miss my friends and my mom. I went home. One thing that YouTubers in China really fail to illustrate and tell you is that moving to China for the first time is hard. It sucks. You're jet lagged, you're stressed, you're overwhelmed, you know nothing, you know no one, you don't know what to trust. You're confused, you're hungry, Google doesn't work, you don't have a phone number, you don't know how to pay for anything, no place accepts cash. You're having nonstop culture shock and your perspective from, oh, I'm so excited to move to China, shifts to what the f have I done? And that's the exact headspace that I was in during this video. video just a very quick little announcement you guys are always leaving comments like Elise where are you going next I wish I had a friend like you I wish I could travel with you well guess what now you actually have the opportunity to go on a group trip with me but first you gotta do this survey the survey is in the link in the description below all you need to do is fill it out it's no commitment on the survey you tell me where you want to go when you want to go and your budget together we could travel to bali morocco thailand or my home away from home china whichever place you guys vote for that has the most amount of votes that is where we're going. Of course, thank you guys so much for wanting to join me on this trip. The more people that take the survey, the better, the better the chances we go exactly where you wanna go. So I need everyone, all of my incredible friends, my subscribers to hit that link in my description below, fill out the survey and let's go. I can't wait to hang out with you IRL in 2024. Let's get to the video. Been a lovely subscriber of my channel for a while, then you know it is not my first time in China. I've lived here for four years, but I have just moved from Beijing to Chengdu. And in the middle of that, I went home to the USA, which was the first time I was there in four years. Of course, had a lot of complex feelings and emotions around being back home, and it felt very difficult to leave. You know, it hasn't even been a week. Since I left my mom and my dog at the Detroit airport and sobbed as I stood in line at TSA. But nonetheless, I made it back to China. Now you might think since I was moving from one city in China to another that the transition would be seamless. But in my case, it was really quite different. <sighs> See this pimple right here? This is because of stress and lack of sleep. I woke up this morning at 4 a.m. Um, I tried to go back to sleep and then I couldn't and then I started editing and watching 90 Day Fiance and then I just started crying. <laughs> ah. And now I feel like I'm about to cry again. I mean, eight hours of apartment hunting will really take it out of you. But yeah, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed. I'm feeling homesick. It's, uh, it's all just kind of hitting me. Like I'm literally all just like processing that I haven't been home in four years and I went home and I saw my family and that was amazing. I know I'm back and I'm in a new city and I just feel like, what am I doing? <laughs> what What is the plan here, Elise? Like, what are we doing? The pressure to find an apartment before the weekend is very stressful. And just coming to the realization that I just don't have any expat friends here and I don't really want to make new friends and I have this idea that I can just like do it all on my own. And like, I don't need anybody, I can do it all by myself, but like, I do need people. Oh, oh. These are all of the realization and thoughts that are running through my brain this morning after four hours of sleep. Look at under my eyes. <sighs> after a day of intense apartment searching where I looked at maybe 12 apartments and wasn't able to rent 
any of them has got me feeling really low. I'm desperately seeking some clarity and help in this decision-making process of finding a new home. So I called in reinforcements. This is my beautiful friend, Jenna, who lives in the nearby city of Chongqing. She's come all the way just to help me search for an apartment. And today I'm working with a new agent. And although I feel fatigued and mentally and emotionally unstable, I want nothing more than to find a home and start attempting to embrace some of the challenges of my new Chengdu life. Oh. Yes. Take a look at this apartment. Here is the dining area with the fridge that I would probably move in the kitchen because there is space. Here's the living room, AC, and a big TV, and the tables, and the couch, and this. These curtains are nice. Here is the patio with a nice view. And then the patio leads you into the third bedroom. This is a three bedroom, as if I need all of this space. I feel very stressed out because, oh wow, look at under my eyes, yikes. All right, into the kitchen, this fucking lime green ass kitchen. So China. If it's not lime green, then it's like orangish red. But like, I love the counter space. Range top. Okay. Wow, so many cabinets. Yeah, I feel like the fridge can go here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the fridge can literally go right here. All right, let's go look into the bedrooms. So this is the primary bedroom, which is quite nice with the wardrobe. It has a decent amount of space. This is a very nice size room. All right, let's look into the other bedroom. Yeah, this is nice. Perfect for guests. Yeah, really. And you've got under bed storage in both rooms. Wow. Like, there's so much space. Okay, look at the bathroom. This is the only point of contention. I really dislike this bathroom. Jenna, come lay on this bed with me. Alright. It's, it's okay. It's not that bad. All you need is a mattress topper. This is not a good angle, at least. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> The price of the other apartment is like basically the same. I know. But this, but this is that's like one bedroom. I know. And, and this is this, a three bedroom. It's got like a room for guests. So yeah. if me or Lauren or someone came to stay. Which you will. Which every week. Exactly. So we would stay in that room. Yeah. And then the office room is like perfect because you've got a space dedicated to doing content. Where, like, exactly like the Beijing apartment. Yeah. Like, yes. you had that area. Yeah, that was, like, my office. And, like, the Beijing apartment was basically two bedrooms. Yeah. And it's n it's not bigger than the eight Beijing apartment. So it's, like, even though it looks really big, like, you could have, like, people over for dinner, the dining table. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. like, it would, be, it would be a nice experience living here, I feel. Yeah, and the community is also quite nice, isn't it? And it's got like nice curtains, which is unheard of. I know. All right, let's look into the other bedroom. And just like that, I decided this is the apartment for me. Now it's time to seal the deal by signing the lease and paying all the fees. It's official. I have a place to live. I'm kind of like in a state of shock right now. <laughs> what a serious whirlwind of a day I've had. Like, woke up this morning, an emotional wreck, and then couldn't go back to sleep, cried for like an hour. And now, what time is it? 2 p.m. And I have a home. <laughs> this is the contract. Everything <laughs> is on the app. It's all in Chinese, so. Okay, this is the total. 18,692. Oh my god, I'm about to pay. This is crazy. Done. Okay. That was so easy. Just in a matter of seconds, I have signed a lease for an apartment. A lease for a lease! Wow. Thank <laughs> you.